We've created a central bank digital currency platform where all central banks can actually test practically the theoretical concepts of a CBDC and what it means for them. But more importantly, the banks can start integrating central bank technology into their payment systems. Gwen Lambo, I'm such a DGEN. Welcome to D Jenny from the blockchain where we defy logic. Oh no, 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 no. Quant is pioneering CBDCs. Uh, yeah, duh. That was founder and CEO of Quant, Gilbert Verdian, basically saying that Quant was built for CBDCs. And whether you love that or not because of the ethos of crypto and decentralization and self-custody of your own finances, that just being the tip of the iceberg of crypto, CBDCs are bad. Quant is bad. You're working with central banks. That's bad. Look, central banks have money. Uh, the people working with central banks have money. Um, I'm in crypto to make money. That's first and foremost. You come for the gains, but you stay for the tech. I'm trying to make my gains in crypto first. Then I'll stay for the ethos of crypto. So whether you like this video or not, sorry, Quant is a CBDC blockchain, basically. It's going to be working with, or is working with currently, the Bank of England and will be working with other big banks. But that, that tease there I just showed you was Gilbert Verdian from Quant Network's, uh, Quant's YouTube page, as you see right here. I'll leave a link to this little um, six and a half minute clip that they put together of Gilbert Verdian and a colleague of his talking about tomorrow's money being built on Quant central bank digital currencies to to put it bluntly um and i'll play another clip from from this right now and then i'll react to it off the back end but it's actually super super bullish if you want quant to go up one of the projects we've been working on has been with the bank of england and, and the bis on project rosland we provided the whole platform and the technology by having interoperable CBDCs within the, the central bank itself. And that was used by industry to test uh, people like Barclays, people like Amazon, people like MasterCard, to test all of their CBDC applications and use cases on top of our platform in a real world setting. So this means they don't have to wait for a CBDC to, to, to be enabled. They can actually start testing, integrating, building, and making sure their banks are ready for central bank digital currencies. So what we'd like, like to do is, is work with other central banks around the world, but also take our technology to different markets so they can test it with their domestic banks as well. Okay, so that was from November 27th. And Gilbert Verdian is basically saying that they have built the a, a test net for all these central banks and these big, big companies to come test on Quant's network for central bank digital currencies and central bank, central banking um, on the blockchain. And, you know, you heard him mention the Bank of England, and you also heard him mention that Barclays, Amazon, and MasterCard are at least testing on Quant. That's what I got from it, but he might just be saying companies like Barclays, Amazon, and MasterCard, but why would you pick like Barclays, for example, and Amazon in the same group? Because I, I don't think that Barclays would be the Amazon of banking. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, read into that as you may. But if if those companies are actually testing with Quant, with central bank digital currencies or a, a, a digital token, that is extremely bullish for quant extremely bullish for the price of quant now again the ethos of crypto we don't want any of these big conglomerate you know big bank companies take over the world companies to to come into our space rubbish do you want to make money are you in crypto to make money 
For most of us, I would say yes. For me, I am. That's right now. I'll worry about the decentralization and the ethos of crypto after I'm comfortable in my pockets, okay? Um, and then you also heard Gilbert Verdian mention other banks are, they're trying to talk to other banks to come and test with them before like, you know, actually what I got from that as well is that once these companies are ready to deploy a CBDC, they can, and they can do it on quant. So that's the beauty of what quant is building right now is that they have a test net that any big company can come on with billions and billions of dollars. Um, and test on Quant's network, a CBDC. That's pretty cool. So they're building that right now and have built that. That's why Quant is bullish. That's why. And with a supply of 14.6 million tokens, much less than Bitcoin. And what if Amazon says we have a digital token built on Quant? Can you imagine the God candle you would see on Quant? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Go watch that uh, video on Quant's YouTube page from November 27th. Listen to it for yourself. They are building a CBDC platform. You heard Gilbert Verdian say it. And that's just bullish for the price of Quant. If these big companies are going to come on and use Quant for their central, to central bank token or just the, a, a token on their... Um, huge platforms that they have that's super bullish to me you won't like this video if you're in here for the ethos of of crypto i'm in here for the ethos of providing for my family so i'm all on board with quant as a cbdc chain good look if cbdc's are coming you might as well be prepared you might as well have a token that is seemingly at the top of the list or top of very few that are working with big banks and big companies on a CBDC. I don't know if the ISO 2022 narrative is a real thing or not, but it also has that going for it too, does quant. So if we quickly uh, take a look at the price of quant while we're here, um, actually, this is my portfolio. Um, yeah. And just to show you where I am with quant, um, Right here, I'm up 43% on quant. Um, it's at a $2 billion market cap, 22.5% on the seven day, up nearly 4% on the 24 hour, and it's nearly $140. My average buy-in with quant, because uh, I was accumulating during the bear market, is under $100. I'm at $97 um, of my average buy-in for quant. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that because I think it can get to four figures, definitely a thousand dollars. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of sell pressure at that point, but depending on where we are in the cycle and where we are with quant and any integration by these big companies, MasterCard, perhaps Amazon, perhaps Barclays, um, you know, could it hit 2000? Of course it can, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to get greedy, you know, just give me a 10 X roughly around a thousand dollars and I'm going to be happy. Cause I'm in here to make money and uh, yeah, I just like that the max supply is 14.6 million. I mean, just scarcity right there. And uh, crypto John always mentions that in the previous bear, uh, bull run or, or maybe when quant uh, shot up in 2022 uh, crypto John says, uh, please subscribe to his channel. He's amazing. He's awesome to listen to. Um, he said that there was a shortage of quant for people wanting to buy it on exchanges. And there's a sh shortage of it because there's so little amount of tokens out there. So um, could we see another sh supply shock in the next bull run uh, with quant? Probably, I would say. It's ranked number 44, 140 bucks. I love it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So uh, are you loving quant? Are you in quant for the gains or are you in crypto for the the ethos of crypto um both can be right you know you can be both i mean because i am i just want to make my money first and then i'm all decentralization if i have enough money to be comfortable for myself and my family 
I absolutely would pull everything out of a bank. But right now I just can't, I don't have that luxury. So I might as well try to make that money. And I'm trying to do it here with Quant. Are you bullish on Quant? Let me know. What do you think the uh, price of Quant will be at the peak of the next bull run? Let me know in the comments below. Always do your own research because this is not financial advice. It's just my blockchain reaction. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching to the very end. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, drop a comment and share the video. Follow me on X at DJNE Crypto and please enjoy the next episode or my suggestion to the left. Thank you.